you know, I've tried so far to avoid mentioning Sitching or any names particularly. Yeah. Okay, well. Um, but, uh, just doing anything. He did a very good interpretation to get the ball rolling. Yeah, I've got nothing against Sitching. I mean, he, um, all he's done is, is to translate these clay tablets that have been buried in the sand for 5,000 years. So, you know, it's he hasn't created the story. He's just <clears throat> translated it from cuneiform, Sumerian cuneiform. Um, okay, well, we could start with that, I suppose. Okay, right. section and all that. Yeah. Um, I think most people are becoming aware of the, the Anunnaki and the Anunnaki story. Um, a lot of people are picking up on Zechariah Sitchin's translations of the uh, cuneiform clay slabs that tell the Anunnaki story, which is essentially that um, humans were made by the Anunnaki as a slave race. It's gaining more and more prominence. More and more people are becoming aware of um, Sitchin's translations on the Anunnaki story. And there's al also an awful lot of channeled material out there, and a lot of cha websites containing channeled material saying that the Anunnaki are here to save us. Um, Organisations like the Galactic Federation, Ashtar Command, Big Great Right Brotherhood, organisations like this are Anunnaki essentially they're, they're set up by the Anunnaki and they're here to deliberately mislead us and the, the way in which they are doing this is they are um, using a basic human knowledge that we're undergoing some kind of change on the planet and what the Anunnaki are trying to say is that we are ascending to the fifth dimension now this whole concept of ascension is an Anunnaki word and this idea of the fifth dimension is an Anunnaki concept. It has nothing to do with what is really happening on Earth. And it is all done to mislead us, to try and make us believe that the Anunnaki are actually our gods. They are our creators. And that is not true. It is totally against everything that human history is all about, human aspirations and human potential are all about. The Anunnaki are trying to remove people from the planet as much as possible. And this is what this whole thing is about. The other process they're using, of course, is the religious concept of the second coming of Jesus. So we have this, uh, the Christ consciousness returning is something which is spoken about a great deal. And this Christ consciousness is personified by an Anunnaki who calls himself Sananda, or to give him his full title, Lord Sananda. Now, if this being is an ascended consciousness, the highest level of consciousness that you are able to achieve within this, this universe, why would it have an ego that requires the title Lord? And also the Vilonis or the Anunnaki is saying that Sananda is a word that means the ascended Christ. Now, this is just deliberately done to mislead, to make people believe that the Anunnaki are our makers, are our gods, whatever it is, and they are working and have been for a long time working in conjunction with the Illuminati. And the Illuminati control governments and worldwide organizations, worldwide corporations. All of these are attempting the same thing, to dampen down our ability to change. Because what is really going on is that we are not ascending anywhere, we are staying on Earth. What we are doing is bringing the higher self, the other part of the soul, into the physical body. We have to try and remember or understand that we are not a soul, not a body that has a soul, but we are a soul that is built for itself, a body. And what we are doing in this lifetime, before 2012, is bringing the whole of the soul into the body, 
so that we fulfill the potential that all of us has. And that potential uh, means we can do things like translocate. In other words, we can just think ourselves somewhere else on the planet and take the body with us. We can communicate with wild animals. We can communicate with all living things psychically. We can communicate with each other psychically. That is what the end of the Mayan calendar is all about. It's not the end of the world. It is the end of human existence as we know it, because we are becoming so much more than we even believe possible. Um, and there are already over four and a half million people on the planet who have achieved this process. Everything that is going on at the moment is stopping everybody else, that you and me, from undergoing this process of change. And that's what it is all about, is the deliberate attempt to mislead us. So what we need to do is to remember who we are and what we are and what our potential is. Just imagine being able to uh, walk around, to be able to travel to any country just by thinking that you can do it. And then, let's say, communicating with the tiger cubs, playing with the tiger cubs. Um, anything like that we will be capable of. But the way in which we achieve it is actually very, very simple. Uh, we're not being lifted off the planet by any kind of alien race in spacecraft. We are not ascending anywhere. We are not moving to a fifth dimension anywhere. We are staying firmly footed on Earth. And the way in which we achieve staying on Earth and bringing the whole of the soul into the body is very, very simple. Do you want me to go through that giveaway process again for this little bit? Or? Just uh, a synopsis of it. Well, it's basically what I said before, so uh, there's not really much more to it than that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Any last good guys and bad guys? What do we do about them? Um, if people are under attack at their, you know, from trying to ascend, I mean, if people are victimized or people are getting attacked, or what, how do they best uh, accomplish retention? Um, it's a little complex. Um, the, uh, the best way to protect yourself through this whole process is to go through the process, essentially. Um, because the more aware you are, the more psychic you are, the more soul you have within the body, the more aware you are of other people's intentions and other people's actions towards you and towards the planet. Um, and Therefore, by undergoing this process of reintegrating the soul into the body, you become far stronger than you ever believed possible that you could be, and you will be able to protect yourself from anything that comes in. Um, I, I, I think one of the channel, TV channels um, aired a, um, a questionnaire that they carried out of what people feared the most. And the top answer was, the number one answer out of this survey was that people feared most coming under psychic attack. And as far as psychic attack is concerned, the more that you take in of your higher self, the more able you are to deal with problems like psychic attack. Very, very few people actually do come under psychic attack. You need to, you need to go out and do something um, that makes you noticed on a psychic level. And so if you're not acting on a psychic level, the chances of coming under psychic attack are very slim. So the best thing you can do, anybody can do to protect themselves is essentially to undergo this process of change. Uh, once we undergo that process of change, we are essentially invincible. Nothing can touch us, no disease, no illness, no psychic attack, nothing, unless we want it to. And any last thing, any, any statement to the nation that, <laughs> on any subject at all, that's, uh, that's what comes to mind? <sighs> I don't know really, I mean, what, what have we got? I mean, religions lied to us, science has lied to us, uh, politicians lied to us, everybody else lies to us. Uh, you got a flashing light on that one? Yeah, that's 
Anything else? Uh, but really, I mean, what else can you add to that? Um, is be yourself and do what you need to do to get yourself through this change. If you can achieve that, then nothing can touch you. And finally, your books, your author, and many thanks indeed, Chris, for your time. My pleasure. And uh, good luck and God thanks. I'll drink to that. Right. Brilliant. Yeah, okay, well thanks for that. So hopefully it will um something will come out of it.